In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly use focus keywords inside WordPress. Let's go. Before I show you the actual process of adding the focus keywords on your WordPress website, let me take a second to explain what focus keywords are if you're very new to WordPress. When you build a WordPress website, you'll add content on it and you'll want the content to rank in search results for a particular set of keywords. Let me give you an example. I have this example uh, website right here and I have a post on it, which is how to make lemon curd. Now, even without reading the article, you can instantly understand that I would want this post to rank in Google and other search engines for keywords like make lemon curd, how to make lemon curd and variations of this key phrase or this keyword. That's the concept of focus keyword. The exact words or combination of words or key phrase that I want my post to rank for. That's the focus keyword. And that's what we understand how to add to your WordPress website so you can get something out of it. I hope you understand the concept now. Let me explain a little more details and then we'll go to the process of where we start adding focus keywords on our WordPress website. So let's use how to make lemon curd this post as an example of adding focus keywords on your site. As I already explained, you can typically understand what the focus keyword would be. It would be how to make lemon curd, make lemon curd or some typical variations of that. Now, let me clarify one thing. Focus keyword is usually not a WordPress native feature. Focus keyword is only added or the feature can be added once you install an SEO plugin on your site. It can be any SEO plugin and I'd say all SEO plugins have some sort of variation of this feature where you're typically allowed to add a focus keyword and focus key phrases on the site. And I'm going to demonstrate using a plugin called All-in-One SEO, which in according to me is one of the best SEO plugins out there. So I already have the SEO plugin All-in-One SEO installed on my site and I'll show you how to add focus key phrases with it. As I explained, uh, any SEO plugin that you use will have this feature, but the user interface or the uh, little bit of the design and the cosmetic elements might change, but the feature usually works almost the same way. All right. So to use all in one SEO to add focus keywords on the site, all you have to do is first install the plugin, which I already have, and then scroll to the bottom of the post where you see the SEO controls with all in SEO. So I'll scroll to the bottom and you'll see all in one AIO SEO settings. AIO SEO is an acronym for all in one SEO. So you'll see all sort of settings here. When you scroll down a little bit, you'll see focus key phrase settings here, here, and a couple of options. Now, it can be a little bit confusing to the beginners because you have focus key phrase, additional key phrases, then add focus key phrase, get additional key phrases, and then add additional key phrases. What does this mean? Why are there so many fields? And what do we do this? Let me explain. The first thing that we'll do is add the main focus keyword that we want to rank this post for. For example, if I showed you the post title once again, it says how to make lemon curd. Typically, the uh, ideal title or the ideal key phrase that this post should rank for, for the best uh, traffic for me is how to make lemon curd, right? So let's choose that as a focus key phrase in this example. And we'll go to the first uh, key phrase setting, which is the focus key phrase. And I'll type this in. So I'll type in how to make lemon curd. And I'll press enter to register that in. And what All-in-One SEO is doing is taking that focus keyword and analyzing the content of the page and telling me and giving me recommendations on how I can improve my post to rank on this particular key phrase. So you see how to make lemon curd, the score for this post, that means the optimization for this post is around 50 out of 10, which is a true SEO score that All-in-One SEO provides. So it's very helpful to understand how optimized your post is. But there's one important thing to keep in mind here as well. All in SEO is also telling me that focus key phrase length is a little too long. Try to make it shorter. This is also important to understand because you should not keep focus keywords very, very long or typically one word short. It should be a fine balance between uh, short, I say two words or uh, typically three words and four to five words is the maximum. But right now, uh, All in SEO is telling me that this focus key phrase is a little too long. So what I'll do is I'll change this focus key phrase to something like just make lemon curd. Because again, the intent of the words is the same, whether I say how to make lemon curd or make lemon curd, but by keeping it short, I'm getting more targeted, uh, say optimization recommendations from all in SEO. I'll press enter once again. And now I'm seeing some sort of recommendations and these recommendations, which you see in green have now already been passed. My score is also improved. And also I have some important recommendations that I can follow. So it's saying focus key phrase in introduction. That means add the focus phrase in the introduction of the post somewhere when you start in the first couple of paragraphs. If you scroll down, you'll have focus key phrase uh, in subheadings. So included in subheadings and also focus key phrases 
in alt text attributes or alt attributes for images. So if I go and see the image, it should also have uh, the focus preface in the alt text attribute of this image. These are recommendations given by all in SEO to maximize the chances of this post ranking high in the search results because on page SEO is uh, very important if you want to rank high in the search results. Now, this is the typical first focus key phrase. What about additional key phrases? Now, this is where it gets interesting. Usually when you uh, create a, a blog post, you, you can't just have one focus key phrase which is defines it at all. You might have variations of the key phrase which still define the post, but not the uh, primary focus key phrase that you want to work for. Again, in this example, if I talked about lemon curd, then make lemon curd could be my main focus key phrase, but how to make lemon curd easy lemon curd recipe that can mean additional co focus key phrase. So let's say for example, if I want to choose or add an additional key phrase, then I can add an additional key phrase as lemon curd recipe. That can be a simple additional focus key phrase. Another one can be a variation of this word, which is easy lemon curd recipe. Let me also add that lemon curd recipe. So now I've added additional focus key phrases to this specific post and the main focus key phrase is this. Now again, all in SEO is providing me some helpful recommendations on individual additional key phrases that I added, giving me ideas on how I can improve the optimization of my post depending or on this particular key phrase. If I select this, you'll see this typical arrow right here. That means the recommendations are appearing for this particular key phrase. That means telling me that uh, use the focus key phrase in introduction, use the focus key phrase in image alt attributes. And if I click this one, then the arrow shifts here and the recommendations are now specific to this additional focus key phrase. Now here, I like to pause for a second and uh, just clarify one important thing. You don't need to actually optimize for every individual focus key phrase. And it might not be even practical in most cases. Because let's say, for example, I have uh, added the make lemon curd key phrase in the introduction uh, paragraph of this post. But if I also include the lemon curd recipe uh, keyword in, in the uh, introduction and also this key phrase, easy lemon curd recipe, and let's say I added a couple of more additional key phrases, it's not practical for me to include all those focus key phrases in the introduction, even though that's the optimal way to uh, optimize my post. Because of course, it might appear uh, appeal to robots or bots who scan my site, but not to humans. They'll instantly understand something is off. It's not naturally that how you write. So for the first preference is that whenever you write a blog post or any kind of content on your site should be humans, not search engines. And typically, if you've selected a good focus key phrase, for example, make lemon curd, most of the time, uh, search engines are smart enough to understand and uh, do all sorts of, I'd say, substitutions for additional key phrases or substitutions for similar sounding words, similar meaning words. So in this case, I'd say most of the times, let's say if your post is well optimized for make lemon curd, then Google and other search engines already understand that easy or lemon curd recipe is also a key phrase that this post should rank for. Now, whether it ranks or not, that's up to Google, but it should rank for both these keywords. It's already, uh, search engines are already smart to understand that. So don't go overboard with optimization. Typically you should follow the optimization process or all the steps in the main primary focus keyword. But for additional key phrases, just do the bare minimum. Just try to see uh, wherever you can squeeze that in without affecting the quality of the post or at least make it appear like it's written for humans, right? So in similar manner for the additional key phrases, you can keep adding more additional key phrases if you find they are closely related. Don't just try to add key focus keywords just for the sake of recommendations, because as I said, you don't need to follow all recommendations. This is more of a guidelines that you, you can follow if you have the bandwidth or uh, the capacity to do so in this particular post. So you can keep doing this until you find a good balance of focus key first. But what about this focus key phrase and what about this get additional key phrases? Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because typically, when you're writing focus keywords in this post, it was quite obvious that what the focus keyword was, because the post is very straightforward. And I just typically understood, or I'd say I made an educated guess that make lemon key, uh, curd is the focus keyword I should go for. But I don't have any statistical data to back this up. That is this the focus keyword I should be trying to rank for? Because for difficult or different types of keywords, the search volume and the search competition might be very different. So how do I get that data? 
you can get the data by using this option, which is get additional key phrases. And what all-in-one SEO does, which is typically, I'd say, much better than other SEO plugins, is it integrates with SEMrush, a very popular SEO, uh, I'd say, service, a set of tools that they provide. And it gives you some keyword data about what keywords you should be targeting based on search volume and the search, I'd say, trends, the seasonality of the keywords. You can get all that data by just signing up for a free SEMrush account. That's pretty awesome, right? So I'll click this button right here which will open up a dialog box. It's off window or off my screen. I'll just drag it on the screen right here. Just give me one second. And this is typically what you will see. If you don't have an SEM Rush, uh, Rush account already, then you can what you can do is sign up and just log into your account using the credentials that you'll create when the sign up process. And once that is done, you'll start seeing additional key phrases here. So I'll pause the video for a second. I'll start the sign up process. I'll sign up and sign into my account as well. And then I'll show you the process of how the additional key phrases will appear and what the interface is like so that you can understand uh, much better how you can make intelligent decisions about what focus key phrases and keywords to go after. So I finished the sign up process. I just signed it with my Google account. It was very quick to do, just take a few seconds of my time. And now this is in the interface you will also see if you complete the sign up process, right? So you'll see first uh, show results for, that means if you're targeting a particular country, then you have the option to choose between countries. You have all sorts of countries. I'll just leave it to United States of America right now, just to give an example. This is where the uh, focus keywords start coming into play. The focus key phrase that I have targeted for this post is make lemon curd, which is typically a key phrase which has a volume of 210 approximately per month, right? This is the focus key phrase I have added. But how to make lemon curd has a search volume of 200 or 2,900 searches per month, which is more than 10 times the focus key phrase I've selected. So now instantly you can see that this makes much more sense, even though the focus key phrase is a little long, because once I select this focus key phrase, I'll get more targeted recommendations on how to optimize my post for this particular keyword. Again, uh, search engines are typically smart to understand, but this just gives you a little bit of edge to target just the right key phrases so that you can get more traffic out of search engines, right? So this is so valuable uh, if you can understand what this means. And this is just not for this post. Any post that you write, any focus key phrase you add, you can get all this data for free from SEMrush. So let me just choose how to make lemon curd in this case. And I'll just add this. And I can add more key phrases if I want to, just to give an example, and what they will be populated instantly. So I'll close this out. And all the focus or additional focus key phrases have been added to this section right here. But now because I know how to make or how to make lemon curd is a more search volume or search worthy uh, traffic or uh, key phrase to go after, what I can do is switch the main focus key phrase from make lemon curd to how to make lemon curd. Let me do that once again. How to make lemon curd. And I'll modify the how to make lemon curd just to make lemon curd. And that's it. And now the recommendations I'm seeing all here are based on this more a search worthy or I'd say higher search volume focus key phrase, which I can now optimize. So I'm giving, uh, getting all these recommendations from all in one SEO, which is telling me that focus key phrase is in the SEO title, that's great. Focus key phrase is in the meta description, that's also great. What I can do is focus key phrase length, which is I already discussed because it's a higher search volume, we'll ignore this for now. Focus key phrase in URL, this is important. If you are uh, using the latest version of WordPress, you'll remember or you'll know that the uh, URL is now switched to the summary section. And you'll see this option, you can change the URL here. Focus key phrase in introduction. So if you go to the introduction of the post and you try to write uh, the introduction in a case where you can include this focus keyword, and then you will have that optimized as well. Focus key phrase in subheadings. So if you have subheadings on your post, try and include the focus keyword there. And focus key phrase in image alt attributes. That means the images that I've added, add that as an alt attribute. And just by following these simple instructions right here, which are present given to you by all in SEO very easily, you'll optimize your post for that particular search key phrase very, very easily. And that's the basic idea of how to use focus keywords, right? Focus keywords, what do you want your post or page to rank for? That's the focus key phrase. And then every SEO plugin will give you some sort of different functionality. But using all in one SEO, you will see all these advantages, the recommendations that are targeted towards that focus key phrase, the power of adding additional key phrases and also looking at recommendations specific to that focus key phrase, and also getting additional key phrases with the help of a very, very powerful service called SEMrush, getting more statistically significant data to make intelligent decisions about what focus key phrases you should be targeting in the first place, right? That's all about using focus key phrases. I think now you understand everything about how to pick good focus key phrases and keywords and how to use them with the power of all in SEO and typically other SEO plugins as well on your website. 
If you still have any questions about how to use this feature or how to understand or how to think about focus key phrases, leave a question in the comments. I'll get to them as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this video, liked it, learned something new, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel if you're interested in easy to follow, no code base, no developer like WordPress tutorials. And you'll see all the new videos that we push out to the channel. You're watching Yuvraj from WBeginner and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.